So, um, Pat here again with um, another little video. Um, I'm working today with a project that uh, is basically a little dungeon project. I've got, um, I wanted to test uh, random loot generation and I wanted to see uh, if I could set it up quite easily with bl Blueprint and in Unreal Engine and, um, and be able to randomly generate loot from a loot table through, uh, you know, opening the opening of chests, basically. Um, and right now I've got these cubes that are uh, placeholders for my chests, and I have them all over the room. This is like a, a big room that has different chests all over the place. And um, as you can see, when I get close to a chest, it uh, it tells me in the corner whether I'm in range or not. And when I leave that range of the chest, it it'll tell me, oh, you're not in range anymore, or oh, you're in range. You know, it knows that I'm in range of the chest because when I um, if I'm not in range and I click on the chest, it'll take me to that spot or close to it and it won't do anything because I wasn't in range when I clicked it. Um, but but if I'm like standing there right next to it and I click it, it'll open the it'll open the chest and it's gonna it's gonna drop loot. Now um, this video is about the loot basically and I, and I need to kind of go through this quickly because the last time I recorded this uh, the mic volume was muted for some stupid reason. So anyway, laugh at me about that. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go around this room and I'm going to click on all the um, the chests here and you can watch all the loot pop out and then I'll go over how it kind of is generated um, uh, while I'm going. So I'm going to go ahead and start right here and see, when I click on it, like I said, you have to be in range, but as soon as you are and you click on it, it drops loot and it knows where to put the loot based on um, based on a volume of space that's right here in front of the uh, chest. Sometimes it's a it gets a little messy, so I need to actually refine that a little more. But this is like a real prototype version. Um, and so I'm going to keep going. Open some chests. This one now, see this one changed. As you can see, the other two dropped common items. This one dropped a few rares. So now, each of these chests, every time I click on it, it rolls a number that that um, checks to see uh, it rolls a number, sorry, and then it checks to see what that number was. So now, depending on what that number is, uh, determines like what you're going to get from the chest. Um, each chest is set up the same way right now. So each chest, if you roll and that number is greater than, let's say, one, you're going to get four common items. Just like down here, you got four common items on each of those. You rolled greater than one right here. You rolled greater than one, but you didn't roll greater than forty. Um, this chest rolled greater than forty, and if you see when I'm here, I can't click it anymore because the thing's open now. It has a it has a check to see that it's been opened. It doesn't continue to drop loot when you click on it, but um, but this chest rolled greater than forty out of a hundred basically, and so uh, with a sixty percent chance, you get rare items and you rolled a rare, right? So now we're gonna keep going. And there's another rare, or another common roll. It got, um, you know, again, it was greater than 1, but it was less than 40. That's basically what it's telling you. Oh, greater than 1, less than 40. So these are common items. And as we go, oh, there's another one that's actually greater than 40. Um, and we're going to continue until we see something different here. Hopefully we do. So greater than um, 1. There it is, greater than 40. Uh, greater than 1. Greater than one, less than forty again. These are bad rolls. Oh, here we go. This one was something better. This was this was a good roll, obviously, because we just got a new item. This this is a nice epic item, right? Um, and so <coughs> this item, this roll right here from this chest, was greater than eighty out of a hundred. There's a twenty percent chance to roll epic items, and when that happens, you get two epic items. Right now, you get two epic items. And as I have it set up, each one is only going to do four common, three rares um, as you go. And then if you get an epic item roll like this, you're going to get two epic items. And um, in the future, when I continue to finish this and refine it, all of the amounts of the items you get is going to be randomized too. It's not going to just say, oh, you get three, three rares, four commons, two epics. That's going to be randomized. Um, you'll get, maybe you'll get six, or I mean, maybe you'll get five commons, two rares, and one epic. You know, and, and that'll just be based on the uh, chest and at the time the roll that you rolled. Um, so I'm gonna keep going. Oh look, that's pretty pretty uh, that's pretty rare that we would get two epics in a row like that. Um, so that was a good. Those were two good rolls. We continue to go. We get another rare. Continue to go. 
we get another rare, continue to go, we get a common. Now, I think that this is the only chest left right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open it, and it's a uh, rare and common. And so, um, basically, yeah, that's all the chests. All of them are open. So basically, <coughs> there's one more quality of level, of, of item, and it's legendary at the moment, and it has a 4% um, a chance drop rate. Um, so, as you can see out of the, uh, I think there's, let's see, there's 5, 6, no, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I think there's 20, around 20, 21 chests, um, I got zero legendaries. And, I mean, it's not that, it's a, it's a, it's a 4% chance drop rate. Now, saying that if you had 100 chests in this room and you opened every single one of them, essentially you should get like four, three to four legendaries. Um, that's not a guarantee though. There's a good chance that if you opened every chest, you would get zero legendaries. Just because every time you open the chest, it um, it generates that random number, and it doesn't know what the random number was bef from before. It just opens. It's generating a random number, and so every single time, there's a chance. It's the same exact chance. It's always a four percent chance in each chest that you'll get something, and so it can happen and it cannot. And who knows? But um, I'm actually going to do tests with that to see how many times I get. I'll put like 200 chests literally right next to each other and I'll just go through them and see how many rares I get or how many legendaries I get by opening all of them. And and so um, so the way this kind of works, I'm just going to go into this in a little quick detail here. Um, I created two widgets. One widget is this widget that you're seeing all over the screen right now, this, this, this little black one with all the names. And that widget um, populates itself based on the information that the little cube has, the little tiny cube there that's laying down all over the ground. Each cube has its information and it populates this widget right here. Um, so based on whatever that cube is, whatever item that is, that tells you the widget what to put out. When you come over to the epic item, this was obviously an epic item. It's an epic, it's a special item that I kind of set up to be specific for this uh, test. And um, and so this is a rare item, and the only reason why these ones don't have tooltips when you hover over them and the epics do is because um, naturally when I started doing this, I wanted to create the tooltips for the legendary and the epic items first, and so that's what I did. Um, the epic items are not completely set up yet. This tooltip is not getting its information from uh, from the item. It's not binded yet. So right now it's just showing you default information that I have typed into the widget um, uh, fields of each of each specific field. So in intelligence, the numbers, all that stuff, all the stats, that's information that I typed in manually. Um, but when I go and actually finish this, they're all going to be binded. The, the name, the, the, the type of the item, the rarity, um, the, ar the armor value, the stamina value, all that information is going to be um, is going to be populated through the information that the item on the ground has. Uh, the legendary tooltip, if it would ever pop up, and I'm not going to try to make it happen right now because it just won't. Um, it, in fact, you know what? I will. I'll just change the the value. And so it actually does have all the information binded. And so when you do hover over it, it's going to have specific information that is based on that item all the way through it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into my chest uh, blueprint. And I'm going to, because this is something that I really want to show everybody, or show, uh, let's see, what do we got here? We're going to go, we're going to change this. So instead of it being a 95, it has to be rolled better than 95 before. Instead of it being a 4% drop chance, let's make this, let's make this better than 1. It'll drop legendaries every time. So now, when we hit play, and we go here, it's going to drop legendaries all over the screen every time. It's going to go one legendary for every chest, pretty much. It should. So let's come over here, and let's click on that. Ooh, it did not do that. It's not doing that for some reason. Okay. All right, let me check and see what I did. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't, um, I don't know, I compiled it. Did I compile it? Yeah, I compiled it. It's greater than, greater than one. Yes. Get um. Why 
is that not working? It should be working. Um, okay, roll better than 40, roll better than 1, roll better than 40, roll better than 80. And well, I could set that up differently. I mean, it would do it, but it might not work right now because of the fact that it's it's going in order. And this is the, the first check. This is a check for if it's greater than one, and it's and it's doing the commons. But what I'm thinking is that what I should do is move this over there and, and hook it up and it would do it, but I don't really want to do that. I want to move all my blueprints around, so this should change. This should work. You should be able to get it from 0 to 100. It should be able to roll better than 1. I'll set this to better than 0. Compile and save. Maybe it just doesn't want to. No, it doesn't want to. It knows. There it is. Okay. We got a legendary. So this is a legendary. And this says legendary gauntlet. So it knows that it's a legendary, just like the chest says epic chest. It knows that it's a chest, but it the tooltip doesn't know, but the actual uh, item the item tooltip down there, that little small one, um, that one knows. But the item tooltip that's popping up when I hover over that little small uh, tooltip, this one doesn't know. Well, when I hover over the legendary one, it knows what it is. It's not completely filled out yet because those values are not filled out in the item. I left them blank right now because that specific item was just for testing and I wanted to see that it worked so I only put the name in it um, and the type obviously because I wanted it to show up um, the other information down at the bottom there the the stats that's all ty uh, information that I typed in myself um, so it's, it hasn't filled it's not completely filled in but it, like the name works like I said the name works <coughs> so it knows what that is <coughs> um, this one I typed the name in at the top, that name I typed in myself. This is getting its name from that item that's laying on the ground there. Um, so, so that's a legendary. I'm gonna see if the other legendary pops up. That's interesting though. That it doesn't want to pop up a legendary every time. Um, I don't know why it would do that. It should essentially. It's checking to see. There's the legendary gauntlets. Um, I've only got uh, two legendary items that are actually in the game right now. And let's go ahead and man, look at that. If it's greater than these are crappy rolls. These chests suck. There's another one. And this is the chest. Last Hope of Souls. As you can see, it's not the same tooltip anymore. When you go to these two epics, you get the same tooltip. Same tooltip. Grass, Twisted Grasps. When you go to this one, it's a different name. It says Last Hope of Souls. And so, <coughs> the the items are different. This was the Tender Guard. This was a different name right here, as you can see. So those are two completely different items getting their information from the item that's laying on the ground there and it's not this it's not a different tooltip trust me I didn't put a different tooltip on that um, uh, you know it, it's getting its information from the item and that's just funny though that it doesn't drop on them all the time it's better than zero it should always be dropping it it's like it should always be <laughs> always be dropping a legendary and it's not so anyway I find that to be kind of funny it's cool though I'm glad that it works because it's it's actually good that it's like it's really hard to get a legendary. I don't I don't want it to be that easy. I don't want them to be just dropping all over the place like that. When they when they do drop, it should feel very special. So anyway, <coughs> I think that it uh, this kind of shows you uh, and gives you the idea of what I'm getting at. And um, so anyway, I really uh, just wanted to let you guys see this and share what I have going. Um, kind of even got to see some of my blueprint action um, but I won't go into too much detail about that right now unless if like somebody actually really wants to know how I set it up it was really simple actually it's pretty simple um, there's not a whole lot of work to it it's it's, it's a simple setup and um, there's you know a struct that runs most of this information so it's uh, it's pretty easy it's it's pretty easy it's it's cool and and it works really good I, I the only thing I need to work on is getting them placement kind of set up a little better the placement's not bad obviously they pl they place in front of the chests every time uh, which is decent you can grab the items they're not getting stuck in the wall or anything and the only other thing is is these item tooltips these uh, small item tooltips they need to be uh, set so that they don't overlap each other that's something that's um, that I need to work on and get that set up they'll all be kind of stacked if they're next to each other, they'll be stacked instead. 
Um, so I just have to finish programming that type of thing. Uh, other than that, yeah, that's uh, that's what I have going so far. And um, and uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching. I hope anybody that watched it enjoyed the video. And like I said, if you if you have any questions, feel free to ask me um, in um, in any of the comments or anything like that. All right, later.